Hi, this is Kirby with Plus Experts Network. Today we're going to talk about blocking people. There are many reasons you may consider blocking someone on Facebook. Cyberbullying would be one. Maybe it's an ex or a former friend, former coworker. Facebook has an easy solution for you. There's two ways to get to the blocking mechanism. The first one is the lock up in the blue toolbar. Choosing this lock, the third selection down is how do I stop someone from bothering me? And when you open that section, you'll notice you can block someone, which will unfriend them, just by putting their name or email into this field. So we're going to block Mike Smith. When we click block for a name, especially a name, a common name, like Mike Smith, it's going to give us a list of Mike Smith so we can figure out which one we want to block, which we can identify by the photo. So if we're talking about this Mike Smith, right there all I need to do is click block. And now by clicking block again, Mike Smith is blocked. When you block someone, they don't get a message that they're blocked. There's no indication. If you're friends, they will silently disappear from your friends list. You will silently disappear from their friends list. They won't be able to see your page. It will look as though you had deactivated your page. The only indication that they've been blocked will be when they see you commenting on a mutual friends page or a mutual the liked group page and they realize that they cannot click on your link and they cannot go directly to your page nor find you in the search results. The other way to find the blocking mechanism is to use the arrow and choose the settings. In the settings page we choose the blocking tab which gives us a lot of options for blocking including adding people to a restricted list which means you'll stay friends with them but they will only see posts that you mark as public. It allows you to block users so here's where we would block the actual person that is bullying or being a problem. We also get a chance to block app invites, block event invites, and block apps. So there's a lot more to the blocking page than what is available in the lock. In the block user section, you can put someone's name or their email address and block them in that way. The difference would be that there are many Mike Smiths, but there can only be one person using Mike Smith at AOL.com.